What's up guys, my name is Matt Zeffi. If you're looking for an affordable monitor that really packs a punch with a ton of features, make sure to stay tuned for the rest of this video. All right guys, so like I said in the intro, this monitor is extremely affordable and really packs a punch. It has a ton of features and this is called the Feel World F7. It's a seven inch monitor. It is full HD, 323 pixels per inch, I believe. You can output in 4K to this. So this is what I use with my Sony a6300. Since the screen can't flip up, this is super helpful. Now just some important things on the outside of this monitor that are going to come with it is the threads that are on the top and bottom, which is perfect for mounting it to a gimbal or anything like that. The monitor does come with many things and that includes a micro HDMI to HDMI wire. I'm not sure if it includes an HDMI to HDMI wire. It does include this cleaning kit, which I haven't really used yet. Seems kind of pointless. But it also includes this sunshade if you're using it in really sunny environments. Could be perfect to just pop this right on. It's really simple to do. And then it has this Velcro sunshade that you throw right on top. I will say that in sunny environments, this thing tends to be really great. It's super bright. Uh, I'm not sure ex exactly what the nits rating was. I believe it was somewhere around 430 nits. I've kept it at about 50% brightness in sunny environments and been completely fine. And I have the brightness way down for the sake of this video just to get exposure correct. So do know that. But let's jump into some of the technical features that come with this. Some things that really stood out, these three really big features, and that is false colors, zebras, and focus assist. Now focus assist and zebras probably come with your camera, but false colors is pretty rare to come with cameras. And that's one of the biggest reasons why I decided to get this. False colors is going to make it way easier to get the correct focus when making a video. It's going to show red for what's overexposed, and it's going to show this kind of magenta, purple, pink towards what's underexposed. Now this shows you exactly where these colors line up on the IRE scale. So that's really helpful. And the focus peaking is also extremely helpful. The zebras, I don't trust it as much as my camera's zebras, but it's also really cool that in that's included with this camera if your camera were to not come with it or if you just wanted to have that in addition to your camera's monitor. Now I noticed two other things that I have on my screen here is these, this histogram and the audio meter which I've used both for my YouTube videos. Now I don't have it connected to my camera right now so that's why the audio signals aren't showing right now but the histogram is always really helpful. I'm slightly underexposed right now. I think I can get away with it right now but um, as you can see, it's super cool that this comes with monitors. It's really helpful to set exposure and get the correct exposure every time. Now in the marker display menu, you could really dial in some things that you want to add to your display. And that includes a nine grid, which I actually have on my camera's monitor. This is gonna help you get the correct framing that you want, rule of thirds, things like that, center marks, any kind of marking on the frames. You could also do anamorphic marks. You could do different letter boxes or different frame aspect ratios. So that's really helpful. Do note that you, you will have that option in this menu. Now in the scopes part, you will have your your histogram and audio channel option like I was saying before. In the image setting option, there's a couple more things that you could do to your actual image, such as zoom, which is one that I use all the time. Um, flip, I use all the time too, because when I have it on my gimbal, I like to reorient it. You're going to have to do that sometimes. In color settings, this is where you're going to adjust your backlight and brightness and anything else you want to dial into place. But I, uh, I pretty much left everything um, at its default or about 50%. I don't use this. I know this monitor is not going to be 100% accurate in colors. Um, I don't really mess with this monitor that much. I mainly use it for framing and making sure nothing's way out of place. I usually use my on-camera monitor for things like colors or anything like that. Now, coming down to shortcuts, there are three buttons on the top here that allow you to pick shortcuts from these menus. As you can see right now, I have false colors chosen, zoom and flip. Now zoom is basically like a focus magnifier and that's really helpful for setting focus because it lets you zoom in about four times which is really helpful setting focus. Flip is going to be if you want to readjust the orientation of your monitor so it'll flip it horizontally or vertically depending on how you need it to be. Um, when I use it on my gimbal I'm always flipping it and that's why I have a shortcut for it. And false colors, I use it really frequently. Like I said, that was one of the biggest reasons why I bought this 
monitor and that's why I have it as a shortcut now. So that about concludes the features that are included in this monitor and the features surrounding it. Uh, it's an incredible monitor for around $160 to $170, I believe. I actually won it on eBay for around $150, so it was even a better deal. This is perfect for YouTubers who don't have the ability to flip their screens around or just want a closer monitor. This really helped me out and it was worth every dollar. And I use it on pretty much every single shoot that I'm on. I'm able to plop it right on my hot shoe mount and that's a fantastic plus. It's not that heavy. It is a little bit heavier with the NPFW battery on there and it does drain that battery kind of quick. Uh, do note that the batteries are not included. There is a battery plate. I believe it's an NPFW battery plate, so, but you will have to buy those separately like I did. I did buy third party ones. Not that much money. I think it was $30 for two of them, so it was a pretty good price. Or you could just hook it up to DC power if you have the ability to. So some of the pros and the cons. Starting with the pros, false colors, focus peaking, zebras, the 4K compatibility that you're able to put into this. It's not actually 4K, but it is compatible with it. And above all of the pros, I would say that the affordability has to come in number one because this thing's really affordable, it's seven inches, you don't really find this everywhere at this price point. And with these features, I don't think you could really beat it. Some of the cons, if you have it hooked up to power, sometimes it randomly just turns on and just keeps going in that loop, which is quite annoying. I'm not sure why it does that. Number two, when you have it hooked up to your battery, uh, it will drain the battery even when it's off because there's kind of an LED that just shows that it's off. Seems completely unnecessary, but um, do note that I always pull my batteries out of it anyways, even if I'm having it off. Number three is this thing's extremely light, but I feel like it could have been a little bit thinner. I'm not sure if everyone really needs a seven inch monitor. Looking back, I probably would have gotten a smaller one. Overall though, I think this is a fantastic option for your first monitor. Uh, even your second monitor, depending what you have as your first monitor. From here, I'll likely move to one that records or something like that, or just something that has a little bit more accurate colors. These things are, are likely way off. And uh, I know that I knew that going in, so do note that if you do choose to purchase this. And one last con that I have is just operating this menu is a little bit clunky. It's just it's kind of unreasonable to go through it like this. I wish there was maybe a few more buttons to navigate through. Overall, I just think that could have been done a little bit better. So that's the last con that I have. And by the way, guys, I've left a link to this Field World F7 on Amazon in the description down below. So feel free to check that out at any time. This really is a fantastic monitor. My first monitor that I ever owned in particular, but I really do enjoy it. And I actually use it with my Sony A6300 on my Zion Crane gimbal. I have a video, I'm gonna put it right up above, where I showed the whole setup actually together. It takes a few minutes to build. It's a perfect setup for running gun shooting, and uh, I hope you guys got something out of this video. If you enjoyed it and you got something out of it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Maybe throw those notifications on. I would really appreciate it. Any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll get back to any of them. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.